Hello, my name is Don Lupo and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for Acromag's Process Products Division. I'm here today to talk to you about Acromag's new RTD temperature transmitter, the ST131 product. It's a USB configurable RTD temperature transmitter. It's in a DIN Form B package and it's designed to mount in an industry standard enclosure like you see here. Uh, there's a lot of great features on this product. Uh, it has improved linearization, improved temperature stability, but the great things about the product is that it's an analog product that is USB configurable and it has digital control and calibration. It makes it more accurate and more stable. There's no pots, no jumpers, no dip switches or anything on the product. Today I just want to show you how easy it is to configure this product uh, from your PC using the USB configuration software. So what I have down here right now is a calibration setup. I've got my two wire transmitter with a 24 volt power supply uh, wired to the output of the transmitter and a current meter wired in series. On the input I have my decade box that I'll be using to simulate ohms to simulate an RTD temperature calibration. Uh, right now uh, we're going to be connecting to the product through Acromag's USB isolator. This product is really, uh, it provides isolation in case your computer's grounded and your 24 volt power supply is grounded. This acts as an isolator and surge protector and protects all the devices in between. If you just have a notebook computer, uh, you really don't need this USB isolator and I'll show you at the end. You can connect straight to your PC and configure the product without it. So what I'm going to do is connect my USB cable into the product. I'm already powered and I'm going to start my USB configuration software. It's just one page. On the left side of the device is uh, status information, product name and serial number that you can see here. It's currently telling me that there's no faults with the product and uh, it's, it's healthy. On the right side of the configuration screen is the configuration and calibration information. The unit is ship's default from the factory as a 100 ohm platinum 385 sensor, three wire connection, and zero to 200 degrees C temperature input with the four to 20 out. And today I'm going to change that calibration to a minus 50 C to a plus 50 C calibration. So all I do is I click on the input zero and I have three choices. I'm going to select minus 50 C as my 0% value and I'm going to type in plus 50 C as my full scale value. It's that easy. Now I'm just going to start the calibration. So I click start and the screen tells me to input 80.31 ohms for my zero. Uh, so I have my decade box here and I'm going to type in 80.31 one ohms and I'm going to read my meter and the meter says I'm reading 3.92 milliamps so I'm going to type that into this box right here and then go to step two. Now it says dial in your full scale ohmic uh, calibration which is 119.4 ohms so I'm going to dial in 119.4 ohms 19.40. I'm going to hit OK and read my meter. And my reader says my meter says 19.59 milliamps. I'm going to type that in. Go to step three. And now this step will set the linearization for the module. I'm going to leave my input at the full scale, 119.4 ohms. I'm going to read my meter, which is reading 20.01 ohms. I'm sorry, 20.01 milliamps. Type that in and calibration is complete. Now to check my calibration, uh, I'll dial in 100 ohms, which is 0 degrees C, and it should read 12 milliamps on the output. This would be the midpoint. And I have 100 ohms going into the product and my meter is reading 12 milliamps out. So calibration is that easy. The last step I wanted to show you is if I uh, close out my software and disconnect my isolator and connect the module directly to my USB port well, one second and then I'll start my software so now I'm connected directly to the module from my 
notebook USB port. You can see I'm talking to the device and uh, just to show that I'm talking, I'm gonna change the sensor fault brake detection from downscale to upscale. I'm gonna submit that, configuration is complete. I'm gonna say okay. And as a last step, I'm gonna open up my sensor and notice that my output meter goes over range. So there you have it, it's that easy. Uh, for more information on Acromag's ST131 product, please go to www.acromag.com and search on ST131. Thank you.